Our goal is to study the interaction of light and matter, but we don't want to do this on the macroscopic level. We really want to go down to the most fundamental level, and this is a single atom which is interacting with the smallest light amount possible, and this is a single photon. It's really an amazing application that you're actually able to trace the trajectory of a single object, a single atom, and be able to actually put feedback upon it. We need the atom to be exactly in the middle of our optical cavity, of our optical resonator. And of course you always have inherent heating mechanisms which will drive the atom away from this very centermost position. So what we need to do is we need to measure how the atom is moving and precisely where the atom is. And this needs to be done on a micrometer scale and with very fast um, intervals. And then we need to be able to steer the atom back to the center by applying an external force. And this is what we need the feedback for, so to compensate for the motion the atom is doing. We decided to use the NIFLEX video card in combination with LabVIEW FPGA to be able to do real-time processing on the nanosecond time scale while don't having to worry about coding VHDL and taking care of all this overhead. We still want to have a simple programming language so that we can concentrate on the physics and don't have to worry about the hardware aspects and configuring FPGAs. It's actually really interesting and really fascinating to be able to control objects as small as a single atom with fast feedback to monitor its trajectory, to estimate where it's going and then to feedback upon the system. And then of course having the atom exactly at the place where we want it to be, we are able to study its quantum mechanical properties to be able to understand those properties and then maybe later on to even control those quantum properties and also the internal quantum dynamics involved in the system.